Kirian, congrats on Die Alone. Uh, this was such a pleasant surprise. I really enjoyed the film, and I loved you in it. You have this great line, nature is a powerful bitch. And that, that just sums up like uh, the setup of this. There's this virus going on. It's uh, morphing people, eradicating them. What, what about that setup really uh, uh, appealed to you? Yeah, I, I really loved the story when I read it. Um, I'm, I have to be honest and say that I'm not like really into zombie movies or apocalyptic movies. Like it's not really my thing. Um, but I just thought that the story that he wrote was really interesting. And I loved the character of May. And I instantly wanted to play her like right away. I was like, I'd really like to to have to be in that world and you know, be surviving and figuring that out. And she goes to such great lengths to continue, <laughs> continuing on. And she does it so um, kind of effortlessly, but, you know, she's exhausted. I mean, it's, it's, I thought it was fascinating. Yeah, and, and beyond, like, zombies, it's also just a really great character study for you as well, and this isn't the first story, uh, movie that you've done that deals with a character uh, with amnesia, and there's that That's has an true. amazing twist at the end. Uh, when you were filming this, were you thinking of Memento, any? Because uh, the, the parallels after I watched it, I was like, that's kind of wild. Not really, but when I first read it, um, I did, you know, a couple of times, there was a couple of lines that were very similar. And I, I was actually kind of, I was not sure if I wanted to do it because of that. Like, I was like, oh, I don't know. Um, but then when I looked at the whole script and it's so different than Memento, I mean, you're talking parallels, but I, I mentally, I was like, this is so different. And I really, um, I'm not going to like, not do it because it's a little, you know, lots of things are similar in different ways of things. And, you know, I wanted to do it. So. Yeah. And, and this has great practical effects too. Uh, did you get a kick out of this stuff being done, you know, uh, very naturally and realistically rather than uh, CGI? Yeah, they did. They did such a great job. All those um, special effects guys um, and women that were just making those characters and all of the, plants coming out of the people like i was pretty impressed by their artistry really really talented people yeah and your, your co-star douglas smith i haven't seen him in a lot but i was really impressed by his performance as well how was he as a scene partner great he's a very talented actor and you really have to believe him right like to for that movie to work um and and what he's doing is really not that easy like i thought he did a great job you know um He's a pleasure to work with. Yeah, I, I love your scenes together. And this year's Matrix uh, 25th anniversary, which is, is wild. I saw it in a packed theater. The fan base is still Did you so really? passionate. Oh, Yeah, that's cool. the, the screenings. Um, how does it feel to see Trinity still being embraced just as much now as when it first came out? It's cool. I mean, what a great movie. Um, I loved making it. Um, Yeah, I had wanted to actually see it in my local theater because they did have it here, but I was I had some plans that day I couldn't go. But yeah, it's pretty crazy to think 25 years has passed. It's crazy. It is crazy. And, um, you know, I, I thought you were great in the Acolyte as well recently. And your character's story was kind of wrapped unless there were more flashbacks. But were you surprised by the, the cancellation? I, I thought it was unfortunate that the series kind of got caught up in some weird discourse that kind of dominated and the headlines around it. Yeah, you know, I don't really invest too much time wondering if a show is going to get picked up or not, just because you know, they often don't. And so I don't really, I don't really spend much time thinking about any of that. It's Yeah. just sort of how it is, you know, like when Jessica Jones got canceled, like I was really disappointed and really shocked. So, you know, you go through that enough times, you just sort of don't really pay much attention to it. You can't. 